I have thousands of photos I took while I was in Japan. And as a content creator, the problem is not having content. It's having the time to edit all the content down so I can share it online. So today we're going to try Fillmore 15 so we can edit as an expert with Fillmore AI. So it's going to use AI to make our editing experience better. And if I minimize this, so you can see what's new here, we have AI extend so we can pop in an image. It's going to extend the image. We can do all sorts of fun stuff with it. We can use the pen tool and we can like swipe around and say, hey, change this or change that. There are animated charts. There is a lot, lot more. We're going to try to cover all that in this video while editing a video down and saving a ton of time because time is money. We have our project all set up. We're going to import some content. You can see here, we just have some random content imported. I'm going to start with the pipe video because it makes a lot of sense. We're going to walk through the pipe. We're going to take it. We're going to drag it down below and we can actually take this top bar. We can move it back and forth to like make the view a little bit easier to see. We're going to move this back just a little bit because I don't want my head in the way. You can see I'm getting in the way. I'm going to stop the clip about there and I want to actually see myself walk through the the end of this pipe. But you can see I stopped my actual recording when I was in Japan and I'm not going to fly all the way back to do a reshoot. Instead, I can actually use this tool here, which is AI extend. We're going to click this clip here and we can just drag it out for however long we want. So we're going to extend out to here and you're going to see up at the top, it gives us a little prompt. So we want to pan the camera down to follow the character's movement. No, we do not want to do that. Prompt here is have the camera move towards the brick wall. We can actually see camera movement. So we have a bunch of different options here. I think the one that makes the most sense based off like this shot and the view we have is kind of push in, I guess that makes the most sense and we can hit generate. You're going to see here, it is going to process this little video clip for us, extending our clip from a shot that we didn't actually have originally giving us a better video. While we're waiting for this to finish processing, I realized I want to take this photo and I want this to be the start of my video. So I'm just going to drag and drop this in here. And then I don't want this to take up that much time. So maybe like four seconds, so you can see quickly by dragging it, it crops the video back. And now I want to make this more fancy. So there is this tool here. If we go to drawing tools, there's something called the pen tool. And now we can actually just pen on our application. So we can see here, we are just kind of drawing around the Super Mario world in the photo. And we're going to be able to do something fun with this in just a second. So on the right here, we can do like solid color. We can make it an arc. And if we hit play now, you're going to see that we kind of have like this little animation going around as an effect, Franklin, which is pretty cool. We can adjust that effect to do whatever we want based off the list. So if we hit the pen tool again, we can actually see the radius of it and we can have the radius like really big. We can have like it zoomed. There's a lot of different options. So what's the intensity of what our glow looks like and you can actually see all the different versions that we have available to us so maybe we want it on fire because it's like mario and i don't know just seemed like a good idea we can actually see the ending versus the beginning we can like tone it down just a little bit we want it to like look cool but not over like that would be a lot so we're gonna kind of go like this so it's like a fine tuned touch that just kind of looks cool. And again, we can see the start and end path. So we can say, okay, actually adjust the trim path. Let's just kind of adjust it. Or how do we want to make it follow? So anyway, we can also add shadows. There's all sorts of stuff you can do to this. But now when we hit play, you're going to see it and you're going to see our little effect. The Mario sign is actually on fire. Franklin, where are we? All right, so our video is done. We can actually hit play and you can see it extend out and you can see us actually walking towards the brick wall. So that's kind of cool. Up next, I want to take this clip here and I want to drag it into the scene. And so we're going to take this image and we're going to turn it into a video. So we can actually click here, image to video. We are going to hit custom and we're going to drag on the timeline to the part we want, which is us here jumping out of the pipe. And we're going to hit submit and just very much similar to before, we're going to get a prompt at the top that we can adjust. So we have the people are jumping out of the pipes. We have our video done generating and I want to do one other thing to my clip before I sh kind of show you it all coming together. At the top, we can go to effects and there are a ton of different effects. So we can see like what's trending and we can just quickly 
just drag this over any clip we want and that effect will be applied. But if we scroll down, there's something called AI infographic and now we can see a whole bunch of different things. But the one that I wanna show you is animated charts. So we can actually click this and we're going to load it and we're going to be able to make a chart that looks something like this. And these charts are a lot of fun. I love these type of charts. Do a line chart, and that's more up along the lines of the one we're going to be making for our little clip here. At the top, we can click data, and it's going to load something like this. We can actually upload a CSV file or XLS file right from Excel. All right, on second thought, I think a bar chart actually works a lot better. So I've entered my data here and you can kind of see it all, or I could have imported it by a CSV file. Again, I've had my spreadsheet. I can just upload the CSV up here. But if I go to preview now, you're gonna see what this looks like and it's pretty cool. This is like millions of copies sold and should really put that in somewhere, maybe the header. So on the right, there is a header and I can actually just click here and type Super Mario copy sold million. And you can kind of see what that looks like. And it's starting to come together. We can click animation here and we can do like a little bounce effect and you can see what that looks like. Or maybe we want to do a fade or a slide. Let's see what the slide looks like. Uh, the slide's not bad. I like the grow. I think the grow looks the best here. And then we can also make them go all together all at once, or we can be like, hey, one at a time. So it gives you a lot of options for the animations that you're creating. And then when we're ready to go, we can actually hit add to timeline. And it's going to build our little chart that we just made and of course, add it to our timeline. So this is what our clip looks like so far. We can see the beginning. We have our little effect that goes around the Nintendo world. We have us walking through the pipe. It's Dana and I are walking. She does her little doo doo doo. And then the end of the pipe scene cuts there before I kind of walk in front and ruin the entire shot. So instead of flying back, like I mentioned, we could just use AI extend. We're extending forward and we can see what that looks like. And now we're actually walking to the end where the brick is. And now we're flipping to us coming out of the pipe and you can see boop and it becomes both of us and or I become both and now we can actually see the Mario copy sold with this really cool looking animation that we can see here that we just created and this is phenomenal now I want to do one other thing I want to add some like transitions and some little tweaks throughout and they have video effects like I showed you before and they have a whole trending section that we can just jump around and play with so we can see what this looks like and we can just take any of these so like say we want this shockwave one and we can just drag it over top of our video and then we can hit play and we're going to see the shockwave and that kind of cool or we can just hit control z and we've just undone it we can also do like this one here which is going to give us like a whole fire effect i again there's a lot of different options. So for our still image, I'm gonna take this zoom effect. We're gonna drag that one over top because I think that will look pretty cool. Our pipe is already really cool as is, so I'm not gonna modify that at all. But here, this little clip, I'm actually gonna take this blue explosion and put it over top. I think that could be kind of fun. And you're gonna see, we're gonna go from here to, boom, it's us coming out of the pipe. All right, so uh, that is kind of cool. Now we just need transitions throughout. So let's go to the transition tab here. And again, they have so many that are trending. We're gonna try the glitch one in between and let's see what that looks like. That's cool. All right, I like that. That's, that's cool. It's like you're glitching out of the pipe. It's kind of fun. And now we need one for the start here as we're walking into the world. So maybe like this one here, and we can just drag and drop and we can try any of these. And you can see we took content from Japan and created it down into a video really quickly. And you can see Franklin, the white effect, me. boom. That looks awesome, I love it. All right, so we need to add some titles. I like captions, especially for YouTube content. If you're gonna make it short, captions are really important. And we can actually just hit generate and it's going to do an entire text to speech. So if I was talking throughout this entire video, it would literally put up all the different words that I need for my video on the screen automatically. Now you can actually see here, Franklin, where are we? in the pipe and you can actually see the text on the screen which is pretty cool and it did this all automatically if i hit play you can oh see God. exactly what that looks like all right let's go to the audio tab now and there is ai audio of course because i want to fill in like the blank spots and we can actually just generate something 
So we can put in a prompt and we just have like a retro video game. I chose hip hop and playful. We can even choose the exact time we want our little audio clip to be. So I'm going to extend it a little longer just to be on the safe side. We're going to hit generate and we're going to get an entire background song, background track for our little video that we are making. I've generated three of these. I just want to have some options. We have this one. I like that one. That one's kind of cool. We're going to just drag it down and we can see our clip is on the timeline. Now we can take it, we can drag it back and we now have an entire clip that we can actually share on Instagram reels or TikTok or YouTube shorts. Franklin, where are we? In the pipe. Oh my gosh. Do, do, do. <laughs> That is amazing. The last thing there is to do is click the export button up here. We can hit create video and now we can actually export our video that we just created. So if you think about what we we're just able to do, we we're able to take images and turn them into videos. We we're able to take existing videos and just instantly extend them on our timeline without going anywhere else. We're able to add in AI generated audio. We can do AI masking and do little animations around, or we can even add objects and have the object follow the animation. There is tons of transitions, tons of effects, and even AI generated captions that we can get added just instantly. As a creator, it's a really fast and easy way to create and edit content, or maybe a way to just create video content for family vacations or trips to capture and share moments in a better way. I truly think I save a lot of time using Filmer 15 because of all the AI features built in. I'm not jumping around from tool to tool, and it makes it really easy. The fact that I can quickly extend a clip, have it start working on that, and then I can start doing other things, it makes the entire editing process substantially faster. I really like the one app workflow and truly my favorite is still that chart. I don't know about you guys, but I love watching these little charts. I just find them really oddly satisfying. As always, I have a link in the description below. Check it out. It will save you time and it's just kind of fun and easy to use. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. I cover AI on a daily basis, mostly. And Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Oh, like the video. Tells algorithm, hey, I like this type of content. I want to see more of it in my feed. See you tomorrow. <laughs>